So guys, welcome to another session of Anthony Doll's Home Hit Sessions. Um, we're going to we're going to do an alphabet workout today. I tried to get as many exercises as I could, going from A to Z. I struggled with the last couple, so I'm trying a little bit of boxing to finish nice and strong. Um, so we're just going to loosen up the body first. Let's go, and basically. We're gonna work for 45 seconds and we're gonna rest for 15. So just try to be ready on the go every minute because every minute we're gonna start a new exercise. Okay? So, yeah, I tried to get 26 different exercises. I did well, I got 24, um, but that's fine. If you can think of an exercise that starts with Z, um, let, me, let me know because I'm struggling. Now let's go with aggressive twist side to side. Feet shoulder width apart. If you're recording your workout through a smart watch, let's hit the start button. Okay. So that normal sort of routine warm up that we have, we're going to keep that going. So we're going to go feet shoulder width apart. Down, touch the toes, up over the head. And we're going to do eight of these. And you can add in a little hop if you want. So a good, high intensity, interval training workout coming your way. 26 exercises, so it's pretty much the full 30 minutes, including your warm up. You have time to stretch at the end. Okay, let's get the heels up. Let's mobilize the knee. You can probably all guess what B is. Yes, B is burpees okay so let's bring the knees up in front just throw out a little jab we're nearly ready to go and hopefully this goes by fairly quickly just bounding from one exercise to the next 26 times okay well actually one of them is a recovery okay so true Q is question time. So if you have any questions for me, ask me when we get to Q, because you're getting one minute break there. Other than that, we're gonna start. Let's go. So the first exercise is air squats. Let's go. 45 seconds, air squats. Now, if this is too much, just simply take out the jump, but keep the squat. Okay, you can move around if you swell. You don't need to be static, guys. Move around if you can. Forward, back, side, side. Working 45, resting 15. Head up, chest out, feet shoulder width. You can even do five jumps and then five and out the jump just to mix it up. And if the legs are starting to get tired, that's also a good way to sort of keep moving but go to an Easier way. Three, two, one. Okay, good stuff. One exercise done. Next up is burpees. 45 seconds of burpees, all right? Three, two, one. Let's go, come on. Chest the floor, if you need to. Modify, high plank, jump up. Modify again, hands down, step out, step in, 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 up. There's your three options. <laughs> so it's about working as hard as you can for 45 short seconds. Exhale as we come up, off the feet to jump. Four, three, Two, one, down. Okay, turn around. Next exercise, crunches. All right, let's go. Let's be ready. So just feet flat and let's sit up, go. Push the hands through the knees. Slowly down, control. Breathe out as we push through. Breathe in as you slowly come down. Oh, 
Halfway here. C for crunches. D is for down ups. So we're going tall plank to low and back to tall. Down up, down up for 45. Three, two, one. So just turn around. Okay, get ready to go. So tall to low plank again, you guys, you can do this on your knees if you want. I'll start off on my knees and then I'll progress onto my toes. But if you, let's go. Down up. This is the modified version. Keep alternating. Leading hand. And then progress if you can. If you start in here, happy days. D for down ups. What's E? E is elevated lunges. So the front foot is going to be higher than the back. So that's where we need to get the step in. Look around. What can I use to step up onto? The stairs. The fireplace. Rest. The ledge. Whatever you can step up on. Step up on. I got this little stepper over here from the, from the kitchen. So we're going to keep changing. Alternate lunges but elevated. Go. One. Two. Three. Hands behind the head if you can. Four. Five. Six. Seven. If you can, elevate. That's fine. Just get on with the lunges. That's it. Just by elevating the front foot, it's allowing you to get deeper into the lunge. So in turn, you're getting deeper into your quad, your glute. So you're working through a lot more range of motion as well through the hips also. Three, two, one, rest. Now we're going to use that again. If you don't have anything, you can go fast feet like this. I'm going high feet off the step, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. I'm going here for fast feet. If you don't have anything, just use the floor. There's your alternative option. Come on. Really push it hard. Come and throw in some punches, maybe. That's okay. Progress where possible. 15 to go. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Next up, goblet squats. So you have your normal squat like this, but this time we're going wide. You're pointing your feet away, and you're sitting down. You're letting your knees track your toes. Let's go. Goblet squats. So you're feeling that right inside the leg now, and not as much on the quads. Keep the knees, keep pushing the knees out. Push the knees out. Let the knee track the middle toe. Chest up. G is for goblet squats. H is for high knees. So we're not going to let the heart rate drop too low here. And then we're going to get it right back up. Nice high knees now. Sit down deep. As far as your mobility will let you. Three, two, one, rest. Woo! Next one's high knees, okay? Good job. We're doing really good here. Five seconds. Three, two, go. Knees up. Come on. Really focus now. Keep it. I want you to think about there's a string above your head and it's being pulled up. Just going to keep it nice and tall. Work those knees up. If this is too much, just reduce the impact. This is perfect. Be fine. 
This is just going to spike the heart rate a bit more. Big push. Right up onto the toes there. Feeling that in the calf muscles. Three, two, one. Well done. Keep the legs moving. Next one, tall plank. So we're going in, out, in, out. Y is for in and out. Let's go. Down we go. Start off in, go out, come in. Squeeze the tummy. You can do this on your knees also if you need to. Keep the hips up, keep the tummy tight. Keep alternating your first hand to go wide. So you're not just going into pilot mode. Auto pilot. And just continue to do the same movement first all the time. Gotta keep the brain thinking. 15 to go here. J is for jumping jacks. That's what's coming next. Four, three, two, one. Brilliant. So. Okay. Well into this now, heart rate's up, feeling good, feeling strong and positive, let's go jumping jacks guys, bend those knees, sit down into it, and shoot the hands out from the hips, feet come up flat to the floor, Seconds. Big push now. Come on, help walking me through this. Drive the legs, drive the arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Take 15. Your next exercise is in knee up, hop. Okay? So we're going to change at the halfway point. Keep the knee up and hop on the opposite foot for 22 and a half seconds. Three, two, one, knee hip height. Okay, uh, open the ball of the opposite foot. Looks easy. It's not, but you've just found out, I say. We're beginning to, and that changeover is just gonna come at the right time. Three, two, one. Next up, we're going to reverse lunges, or sorry, lateral lunges. So we're going to step out to the side, and we just keep changing after each one. Come on, five, four, who's feeding the bird? Three, two, one. Woo. So, 15 seconds greater. We go lateral lunge, we step together, we go opposite lunge. So nice and smooth on the transition. Just a little bit of an adjustment needed with your foot, but that's fine. Let's go. So one, step, two, step, three, step, four. Bit of coordination required here. Sit that ass right out. So when you push the foot wide, ass right out too, okay? Sit down into it. Upper body nice and tall. Good. Keep changing the direction if you want. Mountain climbers coming up next. Take it out and mountain climbers. Four, three, two, one more in. One, okay. Kick it out. Nice mountain climbers next, guys. Hope we're good. Hope we're feeling good. Feeling challenged. I definitely am. Three, two, one. Let's go. Mountain climbers. You can make the most of that 15 seconds recovery, just make sure you're ready to go. Yeah. 
And anybody thinking what N is? What's the N exercise? 15 to go here, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's for narrow squat hold on the wall. Trying to use my ball. So you're going feet together, knees together. Okay. And we're just going to sit right down. Hold for 45. Shoulders back, head up. Little bounces if you can. Or if you're, on, if you're leaning against a foam roller or a ball. Good positive thoughts here. Coming up to Q, Q's question time. I'm going to unmute everybody if you have any fitness health related questions. Just throw them at me, don't be shy. They'll make the minute go fast. We'll probably have time for one or two questions. If you don't, that's fine. Just I'll throw one at you. Five, four, three, two, oh! Oh my god, burn, burn, burn. And over on their planks is next. So I'm going to show you that, feet shoulder width apart, under the body, roll, under the body, same side, when we're halfway, let's turn it to change. Let's go. Roll, under. Always on one hand here. If you need to go to the knees, go to the knees. And continue to roll as much as you can. The knees will restrict the range of motion in the roll, but you still get a bit. Next time you come back to face down, change over. Keep the hips up high here. Hips up nice and high. Reach the hand under the body when we roll back to face the center. This is tough, isn't it? One hand rotations. Four, three, two, one. And stop down there. Good work. Brilliant. Push ups is next. Stay on the floor. Great work. Three, two, one. Let's go. Knees or off your knees, wherever you want to go. Head and foot in the hands. Breathe down on the way up. Breathe in on the way down. Nice and steady here. We're just over the halfway point here of this set push ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Q. Question time. Well done. Oh, mute everybody there. One minute. Keep the legs moving, have a stretch to the chest. We're going to finish strong. Tell you what. Yeah. Any questions there, guys? No. I only have one for you. Sorry. Go for what? Um, well, all of, uh, I would definitely recommend maybe, is you can go either way. Depends on how hard you're gonna go on your run. Because in the hit, I want you to fully commit. So if you went for a run at the start, you could take it nice and handy, just let the body warm up, so come in and you're ready to go straight into it. After it, the legs might be a little bit heavy. So obviously the, the speed is not there. We're not really worried about speed either side of it. What a good way to do it could be two and a half before, do the hit, go down and do another two and a half afterwards. Okay, right, let's go. Thanks for that. Reverse crunches. Lie down on the back. Pull the knees in and trust the hips up. Slowly out. Knees in, trust up. Knees in, trust up. Really feel that now. 
when you're extending the legs, you can just do one at a time if you want. And as you trust up, you can just trust up from the knees. So you don't have to go full range of motion with the legs. So that's your adaptation. Five, four, three, two, one. Up into the feet. Okay, we're going to squat forward, pedal back. So, jump forward, pedal back. Okay, cut so many rounds as we can in the 45 seconds. Let's go. Body tall here, yeah, really pumping those knees high. Propel yourself forward out of the jump. 15 to go. Four. Yes, yeah, squat jumps forward. What's next? T. Tall plank tummy taps. Last squat jump. Pedal back. Okay, take 15. Well done. That's good work. So tall plank guys, tummy taps. Let's go. Hip steady, feet shoulder width apart for stability. Halfway here, keep squeezing the tummy tight. Seven, six, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Next up, guys, uppercuts. So, we're going to uppercuts, okay? So, up at the toes and punch it up. Okay, many as you can. Just stay on your toes, keep driving those arms forward. Keep moving around the ring. Let's go. Rubber cuts. Drive the knees, push the arms from the shoulders. Come on, explosive power. Speed.
This is a great little exercise, this one, building up the strength. Muscular endurance in the legs. 10 seconds. Three, two. Okay, we're down on the floor. We're going scissor kicks. So lying flat down, sitting on your backside. Okay, this one here. All right, scissors. Cross over, looks like an X. Let's go. Squeeze the belly button. Chin up, breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep the legs not too high now. Just hovering up above the floor. Oh, I'm getting heavy, aren't they? Little shake out, go again. Dig deep, but geez, this 45 seconds is flying by, isn't it? Can't go quick enough. Seven, six, anybody else feel that way? Four, three, two, one. Whoa. Okay, we're up for skaters, lads. Building from right to left. Love this one. It's my new favorite. Okay, three, two, one. Bounding. Opposite foot going behind you. Come on. Really push it back. How far can you bound left to right, right to left? Pushing that opposite foot out behind and reach it across the front of the body with your hand. Coming to the end now, everything's starting to get tired, especially your mind. We're just gonna refocus, go a little bit further. Stay strong here. Five, four, three, two, one, oh God. Woo. I'm not even, a, look at this, this is evidence. Hard work. Last one lads, on the toes. In, out, cross jab. In, out, back. Little bound back, forward. Move forward as we attack. Come on, let's go, in and out. Always on the toes. Forward, left, right, or if you're right, left handed, forward with the right foot. So, your big side, if you're right handed, your right foot is behind the left. Always leading with your sort of less dominant side. Come on, move around. Try out three punches now. One, two, three. Can the third one be a hook? One, two, hook the third one. One, two, hook. Let's throw in four now. Double hook. Hook, hook. Stay with it. We're going over time here. We're going 15 seconds further. Come on. Don't give up on me now. Three more. One, two, three, four. That's one. Two more. One, two, three, four. Last one. Jab, cross, hook, hook. And rest. Woo. Super. Super effort. That's brilliant. Okay, what we do is a little finisher. That's the full alphabet. I have, we'll do one more minute, guys. We're just gonna do plank rolls, okay? Just to finish it up, yeah? Just to make sure we push ourselves beyond where we thought we were going to. So mentally, it's just gonna stand to us a little bit harder, a bit stronger. Let's go, so, low plank. Roll the feet, your feet are stuck together. One minute and we're done here. Roll left, dip, roll right, Dip, keep both elbows in contact with the floor. Come on, this is it, this is the finisher. It's one minute long. If this is too much, just hold center and squeeze hard. There's your alternative option. Okay. Halfway here. Five, three, two, oh. 
Drop the knees to the floor, guys. Push the bum back. In between the heels. Let's drop the head to the ground. Stretch out the lower back. Give yourself 20 seconds of downtime. Have a think about how you feel, how that felt. Did you work hard? Could you have given a bit more? Slowly up, that's a full alphabet workout there. Pretty straightforward, very little to no equipment required. You can take that one, put it in your piggy bank. You can use it when you want. Push the hands away from the body. And behind. I always find those uh, type of workouts are good for guys, especially if you if you tend to do a bit of travelling with work. And if you're staying in a hotel or whatever and your hotel has no gym, go and pop that up into my YouTube and it's gonna be there for you to use whenever you need it. Right foot, right hand, good quad stretch. Even if you're at home, you've no equipment really. But there's a workout for you without equipment. Good solid 30 minutes. We should all be able to change over to factor in 30 minutes into every day for you to exercise. No excuses. Good work today. That was really good. Hope you enjoyed that. Nice wide stance. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Push down. Nice tension in the hamstrings, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly up. Okay, build up with the toes there guys. We're gonna stretch out the calves. Left foot forward, right foot back. Focus on pushing your back heel into the floor. Slightly bending your back knee as well. So you're pushing your back knee to the ground and your back heel down into the ground behind you. So you're trying to create tension through the Achilles up into the calf. 10 seconds. Change over. Five, four, three, two. Just step together, guys. Feet shoulder apart, look down. Roll the head side to side to the front. So if you didn't drink much water there guys, just get a good, good bit of water in, stay hydrated, keep the muscles hydrated, that'll speed up recovery. Okay? Hey, have a great day, until the next time, look after yourself and each other, I hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you. Cheers.